everybody. How are you? It is Friday and hang on one, excuse me, one second. What are you doing, Sparky? Oh, Sparky is dancing. That's because today is Fandango Friday. That's right, Sparky. We are going to dance and sing and you're going to do it in slow motion, aren't you? Yeah, because sloths are rather slow. Were you break dancing? Hmm? Well, yeah, I'm sure if I was to break dance, I'd break something. But I'm happy to see that you were doing it. Were you having fun? Yeah, Sparky always has fun. Well, Sparky's going to sit up here because we're going to get started. I have so much to share with you on Fandango Friday. And that means we're going to be doing songs about some movement and music and singing and dancing and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So let's get started, shall we? Now, you can't have dancing without music even if it's just music in your head. So let me read you a story here from my dear friend, Shel Silverstein. I love Shel Silverstein, you guys, you know that. And this is from Where the Sidewalk Ends. This is called Our Orchestra, not orchestra, Our Orchestra. And you're gonna see why in just a second. So you haven't got a drum, just beat your belly. So you haven't got a horn. I'll play my nose. So you haven't got any cymbals. We'll just clap our hands together and slap them all together. And though there may be orchestras that sound a little bit better and they've got shiny instruments and they cost an awful lot, we're making music twice as good by playing what we got. I love this picture, you guys. Look at that chubby belly. You know how I love chubby things. And that guy has a big chubby belly, doesn't he? That'll make a really, really good drum sound. <clears throat> I love that belly. Well, let's get started with our hello song. Are you ready to wave? I know Sparky's ready to wave. Are you ready to wave, Sparky? Yeah, Sparky's ready. So let's get those hands ready and let's wave hello hello how are you oh hello how are you oh hello how are you i'm just fine today i'm glad to see you here today i'm glad to see you here today i'm glad to see you here today i'm so glad to see you okay why don't we dance around the room since it's fandango friday here we go! Dance, dance, dance around the room. Oh, dance, dance, dance around the room. Dance, dance, dance around the room. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, so if you're gonna dance, you gotta spin. Spin, 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 spin. Here you go. And spin, 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 spin. Don't be slow. Spin, 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 spin. Here you go. I'm so glad to see you. Well, let's see. How about if we hop up and down? Now, if you want to, you can hop on two feet. Or if you feel brave enough, you can hop on one foot. Or you can even switch feet. What do you think about that? Or you can even hop up and down in your chair. But let's hop, shall we? Hop up and down, one, two, three, and hop up and down. Along with me, and hop up and down, one, two, three. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, yes, I know, Sparky. I haven't forgotten. Sometimes. Let's make some funny faces. Here we go. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, let's wave hello and get our story started. Here we go. Hello. That Sparky? Oh, Sparky wants to make a funny face for you guys. I think he's been practicing this all night long, haven't you? All right, let's see your funny face, Sparky. Okay, all 
Anyway, that looked a little bit more like peekaboo, but that was fun. I like that. Well, Spark, are you ready for our first story? Mm -hmm. You're going to like this one because it is all about ballet. And this is from the Epic app. Thank you, thank you very much, Epic. It's called Noel the First, and it is by Kate McMullen with illustrations by Jim McMullen. Let me get in there really close so you can see the picture of the cover. Noel the First. And you know, this is one of those books. The pictures are, are, are really stunning. I think they're really, really stunning. Noel the First, story by Kate McMullen with pictures by Jim McMullen. Oh, look, there she is on her way to dance class. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that Noelle lives in New York. That's just my idea. I might be completely wrong, but I just get a sense that Noelle lives in New York. This is dedicated to Megan, Alexandra, Carla, Catherine, Meredith, and Julia. Wonder if they're dancers. When Noelle danced, she danced with all her heart. She looks happy dancing, doesn't she? One Saturday, Madame tapped the first place at the bar. This, she said, is where you will stand, Noelle. My goodness, she is a very imposing figure, isn't she? Hmm. Noelle was so proud to be the leader. It feels good sometimes to be acknowledged that way, doesn't it? When the class practiced turning and jumping, Noelle was sure she'd never spun so fast or leapt so high before. Noel the first, she thought. That's me. <laughs> Doesn't she look happy, everybody? A new girl appeared in the studio one afternoon. This, said Madame, is Anne Marie. Anne Marie has red hair. Anne Marie whirled like a whirlwind. She jumped like a jackrabbit. Noelle couldn't believe her eyes. Where did you take ballet before? Noelle asked her after class. Oh, said Anne Marie, this is my first time ever. You must be kidding, said Noelle. How long have you been taking lessons? asked Anne Marie. This is my third year, said Noelle. Anne Marie whistled. Wow, that's a long time. When Noelle got home, she couldn't stop thinking about Anne Marie. You will see that she has drawn Cinderella as herself. And you will see that the ugly stepsister is Amory. <laughs> she might be feeling a little bit jealous. The very next class, Madame tapped the first place at the bar. This, she said, is where you will stand, Anne-Marie. Uh-oh. When Anne-Marie twirled like a twister, Noelle tried to twirl like one, too. When Anne-Marie leapt like a leopard, Noelle tried to leap the same way. Class after class, Noelle the second tried to do everything like Anne-Marie. But Anne-Marie stayed first at the bar.
Then one Saturday, Anne-Marie pranced into studio wearing velvet. Cool leotard, Noel said. Oh, this old thing, said Anne-Marie. I knew it, said Noel. You did take ballet before. She caught her. <laughs> well, said Anne-Marie, maybe five or six classes. I don't think so, said Noel. I mean, five or six months. How long, said Noel. Okay, okay, said Anne-Marie. I've been taken since I was two. Now that's a big difference, isn't it? She's been dancing a long time. But just then, Madame clapped. Time for class to begin. But who was this admiring herself in the mirror? This, said Madame, is Regina Luisa Belinda. Uh-oh, look at her. She seems super fancy. Madame tapped the first place at the bar and Regina Luisa Belinda stepped right up. Anne-Marie claimed the second spot and then came Noel the third. Then that day, Madame surprised the girls. She taught them the part of a real ballet. This, she said, is from Cinderella. Two groups, please. Anne-Marie and Regina Luisa Belinda elbowed their way to the front of the first group. The music began and Noel imagined Cinderella waltzing at the ball, but Anne-Marie and Regina Luisa Belinda looked like twin hurricanes ripping up the coast. When the tune changed, Noel pictured Cinderella leaping into the prince's arms. Anne-Marie and Le Regina Luisa Belinda looked more like a pair of killer whales going after the same sardine. Noel lined up with the second group. Music filled the studio and she began to dance with all her heart the way she used to do. And as she let the melody spin her and lift her, just for a second, holding her in air, <gasps> look, Noel turned into Cinderella. Madame couldn't believe her eyes. This, she said, is dancing. And that's the story of Noel the First. Isn't that a fun book? I, uh, I really like the idea that Noel realizes that it's really more about dancing from the heart than being in competition with somebody else. So that is Noel the First. I want to get the um, authors, but of course, sometimes it won't go back to the beginning. But it was Kate McMullen and Jim McMullen, I believe. So, Sparky, are you ready to help me? Mm -hmm. We are going to do a song that is kind of like a, it's called a motion song. So, I'm going to teach you the motions, and then we're going to do them together, okay? Sound good? Okay, Spark, let's put you in a place where, can people see you there? Okay, you're going to watch, and then you're going to join me, okay? Sound good? Okay, so Sparky's going to join us a little bit later in the song. The song goes like this. Arms up high, reach for the sky. Let's sing and move along to the silly, silly ram-ram song. It goes like this. 
A ram ram song, a ram ram song, gooly 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 ram ram song, a ram ram song, ram ram song, gooly 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 ram ram song, a ravi, a ravi, gooly 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 ram ram song, a ravi, a ravi, gooly 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 ram ram song. Those are the motions. So it's clap, clap, clap and gooly 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 and this is a ravi a ravi okay so it goes like this arms up high reach for the sky let's sing and play along to the silly silly ram ram song a ram ram song a ram ram song gooly 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 ram ram song a ram ram song a ram ram song gooly 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 ram ram song a ravi a ravi gooly 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 ram ram song a ravi a ravi gooly 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 ram ram song arms up high reach for the sky if you want to be a ram ram master you gotta go a little bit faster. A ram ram song, a ram ram song. Gooly 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 ram ram song. A ram ram song, a ram ram song. Gooly 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 ram ram song. A ravi, a ravi. Gooly 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 ram ram song. A ravi, a ravi. Gooly 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 ram ram song. Arms to the sky, reach way up high. If you want to be a ram ram master, you got to go a little bit faster. A ram ram song, a ram ram song, gooly 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 ram ram song, a ram ram song, a ram ram song, gooly 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 ram ram song. A ravi, a ravi, gooly 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 ram ram song. A ravi, a ravi, gooly 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 ram ram song. Arms up high, reach to the sky. If you want to be a ram ram master, you gotta go a little bit faster. A ram ram song, a ram ram song, gooly 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 ram ram song. A ram ram song, a ram ram song, gooly 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 ram ram song. Ravi, a ravi, gooly 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 ram ram song. Ravi, a ravi, gooly 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 ram ram song. Arms up high, way to the sky. If you want to be a ram ram master, you gotta go a little bit faster. Sparky, Sparky, you want to get involved? Okay, you ready? Here we go. We're going to go fast, 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 fast. So let's do that one more time. Oh, arms up high, up to the sky. If you want to be a ram ram master, you got to go a little bit faster. Oh, ram ram song, a ram ram song, gooly 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 gooly, ram ram song, a ram ram song, a ram ram song, gooly 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 gooly, ram ram song. Ravi, a ravi, gooly 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 gooly, ram ram song. Ravi, a ravi, gooly gooly gooly, ram ram song. Arms up high, up to the sky. If you want to be a ram ram master, you're a ram ram master. Good job, Sparky, you did it! Yay! I'm amazed. Usually you go very slowly. Oh, oh, I think Sparky's fallen asleep. I think I better put him up here and let him rest a little bit. Oh, was that, a, was that tiring? Oh, yes. Oh, poor, poor Sparky, he's all tired out. Well, I have a really great story for Sparky to rest. This is called Hernando Fandango, the great dancing dog. And this one is by Rachel Swirless, or Swirls, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce her last name. But the thing about this is this came from my dear friends, Gabriella and Lillian and Rosanna. And I have to say thank you guys for this fabulous book. And I believe the song that I just sang, the Ram Ram song, actually came from them as well. Hernando Fandango, The Great Dancing Dog by Rachel Swirlis. Hernando Fandango, The Great Dancing Dog by Rachel Swirlis. And it says, for Lily, or excuse me, for Lizzie, who's been with me all the way. I wonder if Lily is her dog. Clever, adventurous, courageous, and mighty, and ever so handy for storing a nighty. Hernando Fandango, pajama case dog, is the very best friend of Miss Adelaide Mog. <laughs> Look at that fabulous pink bedroom. That is a pink bedroom, you guys. 
Now of all the fun things they did together, dancing gave them the greatest pleasure. In Adelaide's room, they would practice each day jazz, ballroom dancing, tap, and ballet. Secretly dreaming of a shiny dance floor with a crowd of fans cheering, encore, encore. And as it happened, by the most amazing of chances, I want to show you the pictures first. Adelaide's parents were real ballroom dancers. The foxtrot, the rumba, the American smooth, the quick step, the samba, they knew every move. Hernando and Adelaide never grew tired of watching them dance. They felt so inspired. It's like getting to watch a dance show every day. How fun is that? Now Adelaide's parents were preparing to be part of a dance show to compete on TV. The big day was near, so they shimmied and hopped. They twirled and whirled and danced till they dropped. Okay, I want to show you the pictures here side by side because they're so cute. Okay, so there they are watching, right? And then look at this over here. They're giving them scores. Isn't that fun? Oh, and everybody's so tired out. What I love is, look, little Miss Adelaide is bringing them something to drink. Isn't that sweet? The competition day duly arrived. The dancing began. They waltzed, then they jived. The mogs looked so graceful. They would practiced so much. Surely nothing could come between them and the cup. But, ooh, ooh, something tells me we're in trouble. Something's going to happen. With the cameras rolling and millions tuned in to see all the couples doing their thing, two couples collided. A dancer's worst fear. A pair of sprained ankles. The mogs couldn't appear. Oh, that's got to be heartbreaking. It's got to be really heartbreaking. The host shouted, do we have any dancers? Adelaide knew this was the rarest of chances. She longed to cry out, but she wasn't that brave. And already a figure had taken the stage. Can you guess who it was? Who could waltz, jive, and tango? I want to show you the pictures again. One more time here. This is the host saying, do I have any dancers? And then look over here. Adelaide really wants to go. But she's scared. I'd be scared too. Of course! It was Hernando Fandango, courageous and mighty, pajama case dog, reached for the hand of Miss Adelaide Mogg. She smiled at Hernando and, taking his paws, took a deep breath and stepped onto the floor. Can you imagine? She probably has big butterflies in her stomach. I know I would. So they started to waltz, Miss Mog and her hound. And as they danced, the best friends found that their dream had come true. They swished around the floor. The music was playing and the crowd gave a roar. Their waltz was divine, and so was their shuffle. Their cha-cha-cha caused quite a kerfluffle. And lo and behold, for the next big band number, Hernando and Adelaide were dancing the rumba. Let's show you these pictures first here. I'm going to show you these because they're so fun. Look at them dancing all the different dances. The divine, the shuffle, the cha-cha-cha. And there they are dancing the rumba. Now for the voting from across the nation, who would be the new dance sensation? Long pause for effect. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners are Adam.
Adele Mog and Hernando Fandango, the great dancing dog. Everyone cheered. The nation was right. Hernando and Adelaide were the stars of the night. So Adelaide and Hernando, they held hands and paused, and they took their bows to rapturous applause. Rapturous means that the crowd went crazy. They were so excited. He's clever, adventurous, courageous, and mighty, and ever so handy for storing a nighty. Hernando Fandango, pajama case dog, is the very best friend of Miss Adelaide Mog. And that is Hernando Fandango, The Great Dancing Dog by Rachel Swirles. Well, we're not gonna do the Fandango next, you guys, but we are gonna dance a bit. We're gonna do what's called the Hokey Pokey. So, I often like to say put a foot in instead of your right foot or your left foot because I'll tell you the truth, you guys, I have trouble with my left and right. I know, I know, I know, I'm a grown up, but I still have to do this to remember that that's left. So, instead of saying left foot, right foot, I'm just gonna say one foot, and you get to decide which one you wanna put in. All right, are you ready? Here we go. You put your <laughs> one foot in, you put your one foot out, you put your one foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Other foot, you put your other foot in, you put your other foot out, you put your other foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your one arm in, you put your one arm out, you put your one arm in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Oh, that's what it's all about. Other arm, you put your other arm in, you put your other arm out, you put your other arm in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Oh, that's what it's all about. How about your head? You put your head in, you put your head out. You put your head in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Your tummy. You put your tummy in, you put your tummy out. You put your tummy in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Oh, that's what it's all about. Your backside, you put your backside in. You put your backside out. You put your backside in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Whole self, you put your whole self in. You put your whole self out. You put your whole self in. And you shake it all about You do the hokey pokey And you turn yourself around Oh, that's what it's all about And let's do the hokey pokey Turn yourself around The hokey pokey Keep turning You do the hokey pokey oh, That's what it's all about There you go what if the hokey pokey was what it was all about? Life would be much easier, wouldn't it? All right, well, let's take our last story and give it a read. This is from A.A. A. Milne's Now We Are Six with decorations by Ernest H. Shepard. And you know A.A. A. Milne because he is Pooh. He's the Winnie the Pooh writer. This is called Swing Song. And you know, I always love to show you the pictures first because they're kind of small, so... There you can see Christopher Robin swinging in a swing, and there seems to be a little puppy dog right there, checking him out. Here I go, up in my swing, ever so high. 
I am the king of the fields and the king of the town. I am the king of the earth and the king of the sky. Here I go in my swing, and now I go down. <laughs> and there he is, going up and down on his swing. I love to swing, even as a grown-up. I still love to swing. It's fun, isn't it, Sparky? It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm in a playground. So, Sparky and I would like to sing a little song to you to say goodbye, because believe it or not, we're all the way at the end of story time. How could that happen, Sparky? I don't know. It just happens so quickly. We always have so much fun, Sparky and I, spending time with you. But we'll be back next week, won't we, Spark? Mm -hmm. We'll be back on Monday. And I know some of you are starting school, so if it's a scary tummy time for you guys, know that I'm thinking about you, and Sparky's thinking about you too. And we'll be here on Monday, and you can always find us after school because you can look us up on Facebook or on YouTube. But in the meantime, oh, Sparky's going to go in my front pocket here so that he can help me play the guitar. Here we go. Are you ready, Sparky? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's grab our guitar. So let's say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Jalen. Sparky wants to give you all a high three. So here's a high three from Sparky. Thank you, Sparky. Can you mean one, two? And I'll give you guys a high five. There we go. And Sparky and I would like to give you a hug if you want one. So if you would like a hug, take one arm, put it across your shoulder like this, and the other arm, put it across your shoulder like that. Let's go like that. One hand on the shoulder, one hand on the shoulder, makes X in front of us, and squeeze really, really, really. That's a big weekend hug from me and Sparky to you. And Sparky and I will be back on Monday. And we don't know what we're going to be doing stories about next week, do we? No. But it'll be a surprise. So check us out on Monday. Everybody have a great weekend. Sparky says, 